welcome back to the Jägermeister Workbench. New products is your life, yes, Dave. And it's that's what I live for. And it's one of the funnest parts of the whole show for me. Well, good. So tell me what we got over here. Well, this these are a line of clothing from Bells. Uh, if you're live in Florida like we do, you, if you're very familiar with Bells, you know they've been around in the state since like, something like 1915. They started a little store on the Manatee River, and they've spread all through Florida. And this is their real legend line of clothing. They have you know uh, these really nice captain shirts and some crew necks. You know they're all made for fishing. These captain shirts are long sleeve, and mm -hmm. you know they got the nice vents in the back. Right. You know, roll up sleeves with a little catch on them, just like the regular kind. Uh, you know, Velcro pockets, real big puffy pockets that hold a lot. Uh, their crew shirts, these are their crew shirts, come in really nice colors, very lightweight, you know, really well made, quick drying, you know, for, for the salt water as well. Uh, just really good stuff. Real legends from Bells. You know, Bells, they, they probably sell more Guy Harvey stuff than anybody in the world. and. And uh, they're selling some real legend stuff too. Really right. good stuff. Well, speaking speaking of legendary, what about the cooler? Well, I told you we have the Yeti, <laughs> the Yeti back. So yeah. we, we got a, we got this is a Tundra 45 uh, 45 quart cooler. Uh, it's a roto molded cooler. You know, really thick walls for keeping ice or whatever you put in here forever and ever. Uh, it's it's good for dry ice actually. It's strong enough to hold dry ice. You can put dry ice in here. And don't have to worry about it cracking your plastic or anything. It's got this big, nice uh, gasket, you know, keep the air out and everything. And also, they got a really great stainless steel hinge that runs all the way across here, and that's very important when this thing's opening and closing, opening and closing. If you get a cheap hinge, your cooler becomes worthless. Let me show you another little trick. Close that for me, Dave. When you close this, it actually mm -hmm. pulls down on the lid. Now, what I do on my personal cooler, guys, is I take the pin out, which is right here, and I reverse this so that this now is backwards like so, so that your fly line doesn't get caught. Oh. So that's a cool little trick that we do for fly fishing guys so that's not sticking out. And if that's if you're a fly fisherman, you especially like to stand on that, you can do that so your fly line didn't get hung up. Or you could just you know throw that fly rod away and pick up a spinning rod because yeah. it's a lot easier. Great, great cool. Making that spinning, I mean, fishing's hard enough already. All right, the suffix 832. <laughs> this this is really good stuff. I mean, I, I've uh, actually just started spooling up uh, at home with it because I just got a bunch of it, and it's really really limp for a, for a braid. You know, before uh, they had this kind of like a waxy coating on them and it was making them a little stiff. It was more abrasive, I probably. Right. But they just didn't cast as good, and now this stuff just casts incredible. It's got the Gore little fiber performance fibers in there. It's got a lot more weaves to it, so that makes it a lot more supple. I mean, it's and that's it's, why they call it eight thirty-two. Eight, eight strand, th seven correct. a dynema, one thirty-two strand weaves per inch. That's right, thirty-two weaves per, per inch. Per inch. Yep, and it's you know it's really round, so it casts very well. Uh, just a really good braid, and and now, you know, I'm using braid for everything. I, I don't. Except for trolling. The I, thing I, that I, I like about trolling. that too is now they have it in massively big, large spools. They come in 150, 300, all the way up to 3,000 yards. Yeah, well, this is like four pound diameter, so yeah, you, you know this test. is going to be a it ton of it going on. Now, these are cool little things right now. These are these are called splizzers. They're made by Buck, and you know Ooh. when I, I used them quite a bit just a minute ago when I was you know rigging up those ballyhoo. It's great for cutting ballyhoo beaks off. They're you know made out of a really good uh, steel. Uh, it's got a, cr a set of crimpers on there. It's got a little beverage opener on the end, uh, obviously. Ooh, very well thought out. But what's really good is it's got this really nice braid uh, cutting serrated edges on it. And, mm -hmm. and the, the scissors actually work like 10 times more pressure than a regular pair of scissors. And not only that, they send it with a pair of little br uh, extra br blades that you can replace it with. Nice. You know, you cut out the, you know, you just pull that little screw out and replace your blades when they get old, which is, you know, always a good thing. All right, great report. We're going to save the Rapala Balsa Extreme Minnows for next week. They keep getting pushed back, but man, I, right. I put them on the other day and caught a bass on the first cast with All one right. of them. I love, that's why we only got three instead of four. 